everyone welcome to my virtual class i am mom j and i'm your teacher for today happy learning so ang lesson na ituturo ko sa inyo ay problem solving involving linear inequalities into variables So, i-recap muna natin yung mga keywords na ginagamit kapag ka linear inequalities na ang pinag-uusapan. So, pag may na-encounter kayong ganitong symbol, so, it indicates is less than, fewer than, below. So, ayan po. So, this indicates greater than, more than, or above. So, pag nakaharap po ang buka, sa kaliwa, greater than. Pagka sa kanan, less than. So, ito naman. So, pag may equal sign na pang sa baba, so, ang big sabihin niyan, at most, no more than, at or below, maximum. And then, ito naman po, at least, no less than, at or above, minimum. So, ito yung mga keywords na na-encounter natin normally sa mga problem solving. So, ito yung mga symbols na need nyong gamitin. So, mag-try na tayo. So, let's have number one. Jillian is selling handmade heck pieces for 50 pesos each and bracelets for 150 pesos each. How many of both does she need to sell to make at least 1,500? So, i-ano natin, i-box natin yung mga given. Ayan. So, necklaces, bracelets, and at least 1,500. So, yan yung mga uh, na-encounter natin given sa ating problem. So, magka, uh, ilan daw, so based sa ating problem, si Jillian daw ay gumagawa ng necklaces at bracelet. So, binibenta niya bawat isang necklaces sa halagang 50 pesos at bracelet sa halagang 150 pesos. Ang tanong, ilang pieces ng necklace at bracelets ang kailangan niyang ibenta para makakuha siya or makabuo siya ng at least 1,500 pesos. So, so, dahil meron tayong dalawang given dyan, which is necklaces and bracelets, so, i-represent natin siya as X and Y. So, we let X, the number of necklaces, and Y, the number of bracelet. So, balikan natin ang yung problem. So, ang necklaces cost 50 pesos each. Ang bracelet cost 150 pesos each. At kailangan niya na at least 1,500 pesos. So, ayan. So, dahil at least yung word natin, so dahil at least po siya, indicates po na greater than or equal to. So, it's greater than or equal to. So, let's have the mathematical statement. So, since ang ating necklaces ay 50 at ang ating bracelet ay uh, 150, so, ito yung ating mathematical statement. So, we have 50x plus 150y is greater than or equal to 1,500. At dahil kukunin nga natin kung ilang perasong necklaces at bracelet ang kailangan niya para makabuo ng 1,500, ng at least 1,500. So, gamitan lang natin siya ng X and Y intercept. So, let X equals to 0. So, kapag ang X natin ay 0, so we have 150Y is greater than or equal to 1,500. So, divide both sides by 150. So, Y is greater than or equal to 10. So, ang ating Y ay number of bracelets. So, 10 ang kailangan niya. So, let y is equals to 0. So, if x, uh, if y is 0, so we have 50x is greater than or equal to 150, uh, 15. So, divide both sides by 50. So, x is greater than or equal to 30. So, ang x natin ay number of necklaces. So, kailangan niya ng 30 pieces. So, para makabuo si Jillian ng 1,500 pesos, so at least 1,500 pesos, kailangan niya ng 10 piraso ng bracelets at 
30 piraso ng necklaces. So, kailangan niya magbenta ng 10 pieces of bracelet and 30 pieces of necklaces to make at least 1,500. So, yun po yung answer sa ating uh, problem solving sa number 1. Ayan. So, let's solve number 2. MJ has a job as an appliance salesman. He earns a commission of 3,000 for each washing mas machine he sells and 6,000 for each refrigerator he sells. If he sells 6 washing machines, how many re refrigerators must he sell in order to make 36,000 pesos or more in commission? So, i-box natin yung ating mga problem uh, given. So, ayan. Ayan. So, magkano daw you or ilan refrigerators ang kailangan mabenta ni MJ kapag nakapagbenta siya ng anin na washing machine. At ang target niya ay 36,000 pesos. So, ilet natin si X at saka si Y. So, si X ay yung number of washing machine at si Y yung number of refrigerator. Balikan natin yung problem. So, uh, 3,000 ang cost ng washing machine at 6,000 naman ang cost ng refrigerator. So, kung makakabenta si MJ ng 6 washing machine, ilan ang refrigerators na kanyang need ibenta para makakuha ng 36,000. At since, or more yan, so ang uh, inequality na gagamitin natin ay is greater than or equal to so, ito yung ating mathematical statement. So, we have 3,000x plus 6,000y is greater than or equal to 36,000. Ayan. So, since he sells 6 washing machines, so, at ang ating washing machine ay x, so, we let x equals to 6. So, substitute lang natin siya sa ating inequality. Para makuha natin kung ilang refrigerator ang kailangan niyang ibenta para makakuha ng 36,000. Ayan. So, 3,000 times 6 is 18,000 plus 6,000 Y is greater than or equal to 36,000. Napakaingay dito sa aming lugar. May tumitila ako naman na manok. And then, subtract both sides by 18,000. So, we have 6,000 Y is greater than or equal to 18,000. And then, divide both sides by 6,000. So, we have Y is greater than or equal to 3. So, kapag nakapagbenta si M. Shane na anim na washing machine, kailangan lang niyang magbenta ng tatlo refrigerator para makakuha or he needs 3 refrigerators to sell in order to make 36,000 or more in commission. So, yan yung sagot natin sa number 2. So, kailangan niya lang ng tatlong So, kailangan niya lang magbenta ng tatlong refrigerators. Yan. So, for number 3, you are in charge of concessions at the food pool game. You are selling hot dogs for 10 pesos and hamburgers for 50 pesos. You must make a maximum of 10,000 pesos. If you sell 20 hamburgers, how many hot dogs do you need to sell? So, box natin ulit yung mga given. So, ayan. So, dahil meron tayong dalawang given dyan na tinutukoy, which is hot dogs at hamburgers, so, ililet natin siya as X and Y. So, let X the number of hot dogs and Y the number of hamburgers. So, balikan ulit natin yung problem. So, yung hot dog cost 10 pesos each at ang hamburgers ay 50 pesos each. At ang target natin ay... 10,000. So, maximum of 10,000. So, since ang ating keyword ay maximum, so, siya po ay is less than or equal to. Eh, what if nagbenta ka ng 20 hamburgers? So, ilang hot dogs ang kailangan nating ibenta para nga makakuha ng maximum of 10,000 pesos. Gawin natin siya as mathematical statement. So, we have 40x plus 50y is less than or equal to 10,000. Yan. So, ito ating solution. So, since you sell 20 hamburgers at ang ating hamburgers 
ay y. So, we let y equals to 20. Then, substitute natin siya sa ating given inequality. Ayan. So, 50 times 20 is 1,000. So, we have 40x plus 1,000 is less than or equal to 10,000. Then, subtract both sides by 1,000. So, we have 40x less than or equal to 9,000. And then, divide both sides by 40. So, we have x is less than or equal to 225. So, when you sell 20 hamburgers, so, kailangan lang ninyo para makakuha ng maximum na 10,000, kailangan mo ninyong magbenta ng uh, 225 pieces of hot dogs. So, you need 225 pieces of hot dogs to sell. So, ganun lang po kadaling mag-solve ng problem solving involving linear inequalities in two variables. So, kailangan tukuyin nyo kung ano yung keywords na in, uh, sin, uh, tawag nyo ito, yung keywords na nandoon sa problem para mailagay nyo kung anong symbol ang inyong gagamitin. And then, syempre, based dun sa problem, kailangan nyo gumawa ng mathematical statement. At kailangan may specify nyo kung sino si X at sino si Y. So, kapag ka, may target tayo, magsasubstitute lang yan para makakuha natin yung hinahanap. Yan. So, sana meron kayo natutunan sa araw na ito. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!